Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. This is episode 4, I believe. And I decided to come back over to the actual terrain map mode. It's still creative mode, because it's the only one available in the game. But I decided to come back over here and hang out here. We're going to make this our official map now. So the previous ones, we're just, we're just kind of messing around with ideas, learning more about the game. But this is going to be our official world. We're going to be building bases, a bunch of different vehicles, all that stuff. And we've got our cornfield. Very cool. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when they're going to actually implement the farming stuff, because that is kind of the point of the game. I believe we are playing as a farmer on some of the planet, and we have to build machines. I don't know if that's ever going to be part of the game, or if it's just going to be a uh, scrap mechanic around with random creations, vehicles, and whatnot, but I think it would be cool to eventually get a little more into it. Ooh, let's go climb this mountain. So I need to... Uh, I have a couple goals in mind, other than just messing around with different types of cars and flying machines and motorcycles. And you guys did give me some great tips for building motorcycles in this game. After last time, we were screwing around with the big wheel and the motorcycle design. Oh, can I go up there? One thing I want to do today, I want to start, uh, before we build a permanent base, I kind of want to build ourselves an RV. I think that'd be a cool thing to do in this game. Just a nice little recreational vehicle to travel around in. Uh, carry with things in it, just be our kind of mobile base for a while until we get a more permanent base. And we, I think it'd be cool to build a permanent base eventually because we could build a bunch of different contraptions, machines in it. Because one thing I do eventually want to try is like have a, Ru a Rube Goldberg building contest. And basically, uh, let's see, what's the definition? Of Ru Everyone, most people know what that is. It's basically just a machine with as many steps as possible to perform a task. So you, you like set off something, it rolls over, hits something, that makes something fall, that bounce off. Thing. It's like those really long things. I, I, I'm sure most people know what that is. Kind of a difficult thing to define though. Let's see, let's just get a sweet view from up here and scope out the surrounding areas. Very pretty looking game. I'm really liking the look of it so far. <laughs> I've seen it in some other people's videos that people have complained about the character model. <laughs> I think it's funny. It's, it's better than just like... I, I don't know, I guess I really wouldn't know what else he would do, just like your standard person. I kind of like the little dwarf dude. I guess he kind of does look like a dwarf. Well, he's ginger. Does he have facial hair? I can't remember. You can't see the face of him unless you're sitting in a seat. Hey. Nope, doesn't have facial hair. It does have a sweet headband. And he looks very determined. Yeah, he's just, he's just pretending. I gotta pick that up. And nope, nope, come on. Ooh, and I did see something I wanted to try too in the dev video. They have like a zip line system that looks really cool. It basically has like inverted tires on a rail and it's kind of just clenched around it and you can just use that to transport. So that'd be cool. Heck, we could probably eventually build like a roller coaster or something in this game. <gasps> that'd be really sweet. Okay, let's find a good spot to start working on our RV. Actually, up here is probably good. Um, the good thing about this game right now is if you end up flipping things over, which we probably inevitably will do once we fall off this mountain, you can just pick it up again with the lift. It's really not that hard. Well, let's see, what do we want? Concrete? No, I want... Is that concrete? Yes, I want metal. That's going to be the base of our RV. It's going to first person. And the nice thing about the lift is... Okay, so check this out. So I can make, like, a big old base. I'm like, oh no, it's not centered. But if we do this, pick up... Or delete that. Let me pick this up. Uh, the lift will be centered. Really cool. A really useful feature. Uh, let's see. I don't really know how wide I want this to be. We'll kind of just go off the feel. Um, I do like with the metal, though, it kind of gives you a grid system. So it does four by four squares. One, two, three, four. Yes, four by four squares. Two, three. So we need one more over here. And I just like completing those because it kind of makes it look a little nicer. Let's go ahead and delete this. This, yes. All this. There we go. Okay. Hmm... Now it's too square. Okay, which way do we want it to go? <laughs> Come on, you. Okay, well, I'll get the base uh, laid out in the shape I want, because I'm going to kind of tinker with it a little bit. This is going to go with the long rectangle. This is also handy with the lift. You can uh, lift it up like that and just kind of look underneath. So there we go. That's our basic design. It's basically one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those four before squares long, uh, three wide. And I think it actually might be a little too long. Ah, uh, no, I think that looks decent. Let's see the size comparison. Yeah, it seems pretty decent for an RV. Let's do this. <laughs> Ow. 
<laughs> and somehow just phased right through it. Yeah, okay. So this will be the interior. I'm actually going to build another line just for the uh, the outer walls. Let's do one more line for that. Right there, because I think uh, we're going to do like wood paneling on the side. There, there. They actually just put it back on the lift. There we go. Okay, now we gotta figure out what size we want these walls to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How's that height? Uh, that's pretty good, actually. It might be too big, but eh, it's probably good for now. Again, I'd rather be bigger than uh, too big than too small, because we can always reduce things. Down two. There we go. That shit seems pretty good. He he is a short little guy. Uh, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam, chicka, bam. Okay, that's looking good. And we'll do the rear. Just do wood again. I want to do something different for the front. I kind of want to try these things as towel block. Um. Actually, we're going to add another row here, too. Yeah. Then we'll do the tile here. And now we're kind of trapped inside. But just to give you an idea of the RV shape, we're going to put that. I don't really want it to be in the center because, I mean, we don't. That's like, that's, that's not how cars are done. There we go. Ah, that's okay here. It doesn't have to be super realistic. So there we go. We're in our RV. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I want to build a lot of cool, different, um, movable parts in this RV, too. Like, the door is going to open. And I have an idea for how I can get a staircase to come down so we can go in and out of it. Because it is going to be raised off the ground because there's going to be relatively large tires. We're actually going to put the door right here. Is that big enough for him? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. See, that looked good. Just have the door right there. I also need windows for this. Because these have windows on the side, right? Okay, so that's two in, and it's a three by three. It's a four by three, okay. Bam. There we go, nice and symmetrical. That's right, right? I think so. There we go, <laughs> right now it just looks like a house. Well, I guess that makes sense, because I mean, RVs are supposed to be like mobile houses. And we could delete that block there. That block there. It's looking very basic now, but once we get everything all nice and decorated, I think it'll really look cool. Uh, we can go ahead and plop an engine on the back. Uh, yes, right there. I think we'll, we'll probably only need one. We can always try more once we, if we need them. One, two, three, four. Four is probably good. In. And we don't want these little itty bitty tires. We want to upgrade to the big wheel. There. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to have it... Um, Front steering. So I have a little th system I figured out, or I've been tinkering with, so we should be able to get it work here. Uh, what else do we need? I can never find... Pipe short. There we go. Okay, so we want to have it... One, two, three, four. Okay, so we want to delete that and that. Then we're going to put a bearing there. Short pipe. Oops, did not mean to remove that. We can always put that back. Actually, let's get the metal. Just because I'm going to keep making mistakes like that. Uh, I'll put this, we don't need the hammer right now. Okay, let me put that. Raise it up. want to make sure it is attached on there. Okay, I want to test something, though. Is that actually going to... Oh, I probably need to connect it. Duh. Connect the tool. Connect there. Oh, it's not going to work because we're on the stupid lift. Okay, come here. It's kind of annoying how it does that. Okay, yeah, so it can freely move. Um, Is it hitting the other blocks? Or is it going to freely move? We might have to remove the blocks around it, actually. Put it back on the lift. Hmm. Yeah, and the, actually, we might have to move even more because this tire is going to have to... Yeah, this tire is going to have to go in. Yeah, probably have to remove all of these. 
now that sh it's going to be a tight fit, but it might work. Um, and then on the inside, we can just fill that gap, right? There we go. Okay. I'll do the same thing over here real quick. Okay, there we go. So we've got those tires on both sides, and they should be able to turn. So now we just got to connect the steering wheel, the engine, and the engine to the tires. All the way. Sweet. It actually has enough length. I didn't know, like, what sort of... If there's a limit to the distance you can get from things and still connect them, it seems to go pretty much infinitely. I don't know how uh, how far away you can do that. Move that. See, now, actually, it just, it just looks like a bus. <laughs> okay, and we should be able to... Oh, we should probably change the power, too. Yeah, this thing is probably very, very heavy. Let's just go almost maxed out. Hop on in. <laughs> okay, stupid tires aren't going the right way. Right way, wrong way. Wrong way. Make sure things are turning. Those are turning the opposite way. Change, change. Okay, tires are turning the right way. And we can drive. Haha. -ha. Okay, it doesn't have a great turn radius, but it's working. Yeah, there we go. Okay, where's the path down? Okay, I think it's actually behind us. Let's see if we can get first person. How's that look? Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, good visibility. Just responds pretty well. Uh, we could put, make our rear, rear tires turn too. Um, but we don't really need to do that. Oh, jeez, okay, he's bouncing around. <laughs> let's head back up there. And I want to do, let's see, what do I want to do? I kind of want to do the door, because I have some ideas that I want to try it on that. Okay. First things first, we're going to put an actual door. So throw that down there. What do we want to use for the door? Um, I guess we can use the tile block again. No, that's the wood. Tile. Okay. Extend that up. And today we're going to actually use the controller. I haven't actually shown you guys this before. I've played around with it. A little bit. But we're going to put a button right there. We're going to put a controller. I guess we'll stick it above the door. Uh, we're going to connect this button to the controller. And the controller to that bearing. So right now if we hit it, nothing happens. But if we go in. And we go to the controller. And it sees the first bearing. Rotation editor. And we have different stages. And these stages will determine what the bearing does. You can do fast. You can do slow. Yeah, you can just change that around. Um, for the first stage, this is default, so off, we're going to have it at zero. But for this stage, we're going to do a minus 90 degrees. So it's going to turn counterclockwise 90 degrees when this button is pressed. So right now it's off. I had it on just because I hit it earlier. And then there we go. It opens the door. Isn't that nice? A little thin door. I might actually make that one wider. Um... Nah, it's probably fine for now. Yeah, let's make it one wider, actually. <laughs> okay, but that's easy as just doing that. And close the door. But now the thing is no longer centered. Ugh, it's gonna bug me. Okay, so there we got the door, but the problem is we have to get up. We should probably close it, too. There is also a problem I've found. Uh, so we're actually gonna remove that. Let's just redo this. Because you can't... Uh, if I, you can't use the same button on the same controller or have two different controllers on one button. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to have to do this, unfortunately. Uh, let's put this on the inside just so it's not as, quite as ugly. Okay, we're going to take that, 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 that. And stage is minus 90 degrees. So now we hit the button. There we go. We can hit it from the inside and the outside. It's not perfect, because, I mean, it does look kind of odd. But that's the best we can do for now, unless you guys have a better idea. But I talked to some other people, and there's... Unfortunately, I don't think there's better ways to do that. Okay, well, let's close it, and let's work on the, the stairs we want leading up to this. So we're going to grab another bearing. I'm going to put it... Oh, wait, it's going to open that way. Hmm... Oh, that might work. Okay, uh, we actually need to put this back there. Bearing there, and we're going to use... Actually, we need a metal block. And then it has these stair things I want to try out. Okay, 
Okay, let's try this. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this is gonna work. I should need three, I believe. So now if we take this controller, hook it up there, that's gonna be the second one of the sequence. Oh okay, yeah, well, that should be fine once we got this figured out. Actually, no, we want to undo these. Actually, stop it, stop it, stop it. You go back there. You go back to there. Ah, just forget to go. Okay, delete all that. Delete it all. Okay, we're gonna deal with the stairs first. So basically, what I'm gonna do is connect it to that. So that's gonna be no, not that. Controller to that. It's gonna be the first stage, and it's going to go plus 90 degrees, right? Is it not? Con is it not connected to that? What the heck? Okay, let's remove the stairs at first. Oh, I may have connected to the wall instead. And it's going the wrong way. And it's rubbing the tire. Ugh! <laughs> it's not working the way I want it to. Okay. Let's go and take this. We gotta do minus 90 degrees. Correct? Yes. As long as it's not too bad, it's fine. There. There, there, there. So now if we hit that, what the heck? Why are these not connecting to it? Oh, okay, that's why. There, there we go. Now it should. It's going the wrong way. What? What? <laughs> why is it going the wrong way now? Oh, maybe it was going the right way the first time. Am I just dumb? What the heck? Okay, one second. Okay, there we go. I'm just dumb. I had it already on. Uh, when I was reprogramming it, so it was kind of just screwed up. Let's get that over... Was that the correct way? It's kind of hard to tell. No, no, yes. Okay, so now when I hit this, there we go, and then I can just walk in. How awesome is that? Look at that. Huh. I, I, w I would have rathered it, like, somehow come out from underneath the RV, but... I don't think it's going to be possible at this stage. Okay, so now we got to put the door back in. I accidentally got rid of the bearing. Stupid me. Okay, door. Okay, you fill up there. I can't actually get in there. Just remove that real quick so I can get in here. Connect this up to the second one. And then, just to make sure, we're going to do minus 90 degrees. Move those up. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, I have it opposite. <laughs> so it's going to close the door when the stairs go down. But you see what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Uh, let's put it up. Now we close the door. Stop it. God damn it. Okay, I just need to remove that. Someone just messaged me on Steam. How dare they? Okay. Move that up. No, no. Oh, I think I just need to replace the bearing. Okay, now connect it up to that. Make the second stage. Minus 90 degrees. Why are you... God! Okay. Now I gotta figure it out. I'm dumb. I, uh, the button is what's tripping me up. Because I thought it was just like a one-time use button. But it does actually have an off and on stage. So you gotta uh, sync those up properly. So now if we hit E, stairs lower. And door opens. Actually, we should be able to get that a little closer. Because uh, I did skip one stage there. But let's just do this. 90. 
Door close. Yeah, so that should work much faster, and they shouldn't hit each other. All right. Sweet. Let's toss ourselves a roof on this bad boy. And we should have our basic RV done. Well, not done. This is nowhere near done. Like, we're going to do a, a lot of cool stuff to it. Close the door. Hop on the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see, it doesn't turn well on hills, does it? Actually, hold on. Oh, we got a problem. Yeah, it's going to stop that tire from turning. Okay, we got to... Oh, we'll probably just extend the cab a little bit so we can move those tires up. Or, um, actually, I'll probably just move the door back. That'll be easier. But yeah, I see right there it's jamming up there, so it's going to make it... Or make right turning a little difficult. So even our turn radius when we turn left is way more. See, watch. Okay, and then turn left. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit off. But hey, we got it technically working. Not bad at all. <laughs> That's probably it for this episode, guys. We'll continue to work on the RV. Might do some stuff off camera. And then the next episode, I feel really like messing around with some flying stuff. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy. I want to see more scrap mechanic in the future. I'll see you next time. Oh, a tree! Bye.